Hey guys, I'm Adam. Welcome to the Vintage Sanctuary. One of the cards on my want list is the 1952 Red Man Tobacco Stand the Man with Tab. Well, guess what? I just picked one up. Woohoo! <laughs> now, I've got a bit of a reputation for picking up cards that have great eye appeal for the grade, and I know many of you guys try to do that as well. This is not one of those cards. This is a 1.5, and it looks every bit the part. So why would I buy it? Why not wait for a better looking copy? That's a great question. Let me turn this camera around, share with you my collecting thoughts on the matter, as well as sharing my new pickup. So these were packaged with one card between the cellophane outer packaging and the soft packet of chewing tobacco. Because of the packaging, boxing, and all of the movement before these got onto uh, store shelves, it was pretty common for the cards to have creases or wrinkles right out of the pack. Well, my copy is no exception, so let's check it out. The 1952 Red Man Tobacco Stand the Man Musual with tab in an SGC 1.5. You can see the, the crinkly wrinklies there. I'll try to Move it around just a little bit so you can see them in all of their glory. There are lots of them. His face is nice and clean, though, uh, wrinkle-free. And then here's the back. You can see some of the wrinkles through the back as well. Notice it's got rich color, a nice glossy sheen, and pretty sharp corners, plus the original tab. So I'm thinking all of the wrinkling and creasing is right out of the pack. In a way, all of the crinkly wrinklies on this card are kind of endearing, but I suppose that is a matter of personal taste. While Topps and Bowman were battling it, battling it out for the pennies and nickels of young collectors, Red Man was tapping into the adult market, hoping kids would beg their dads to purchase Red Man tobacco pouches because it came with a big, colorful card. Not only that, cut off 50 of these tabs, you could send them in for a baseball cap of your favorite team. Plus, you got to see which player you got because the uh, card was exposed in the packaging. Okay, so why did I buy this card in this condition? Well, here is a picture of a 4.5 that sold about six weeks ago for 400 bucks. And here is a four that sold roughly a couple of months ago for $505. So these get pretty spendy, even in the grade of four. Here is a picture of a graded authentic that went for $63 about a week ago. Missing the tab, but also notice the number 16 is written in pencil just under Stan's name. This is card number 16, but the card number is only on the tab for the 1952 Redman cards. So once you cut off the tab, you no longer have the card number. Thus, I suspect this was a young collector who wrote the card number on the card before he cut off the tab. Here is another authentic that went for $87 without tab roughly a month ago. I personally like these cards a lot more with the tabs. Plus, they are a lot less common with tabs. Let's look at the back of the card to see why. And again, I already mentioned this, but notice on the back... If you send in 50 of these tabs, now they were called stubs, so we should probably be calling them stubs, but 50 of these stubs and mail them into Redman, you can get a big league baseball cap of your favorite team. These uh, tobacco packs were 20 cents, so 20 cents times 50 is $10. So if your dad, could be your mom, I know I'm being sexist with saying dad, but mostly dads bought the tobacco. If your dad or mom or uncle or whomever spent 10 bucks on Red Man tobacco, then you could cut off the 50 tabs and get yourself a baseball cap. And you'd still have the baseball card. It just wouldn't have the tab at the bottom. And of course, at that point, nobody was thinking about potential investment value of these cards. So uh, lots and lots of the tabs were cut off. Think about this. A youngster had to cut off 50 of them to get the baseball cap and not just one or two, but again, 50. So they are much, much scarcer uh, with the tabs. 
So you had uh, kids, you know, begging their dads to buy these, not just for the cards, but also if they were looking for that baseball cap. For free, for free to the kids, of course, the dads were spending the money on the tobacco. So when this listing came up for the cards you're looking at now, for $94 or best offer for a 1.5 with tab, and here's a picture of the listing, I offered $75 and my offer was accepted. Here's another pic from Sell the Peak showing that my best offer was accepted. Speaking openly, I was taking a bit of a risk buying this because I knew I might not like it with all of the crinkly wrinklies. By the way, I give this card a 10 in the category of crinkly wrinklies, creases and wrinkles. However, I reasoned that if I did not like it, I could probably sell or trade it and get most or all of my money back. So there really wasn't much that risk, that much risk. After all, this is a scarce with tab and beautiful playing days stand the man card for a mere $75. So I figured, you know, I can't go too far wrong. So what is my verdict? Do I like this card? Well, as I mentioned earlier, I find all of the crinkly wrinklies on this card to be kind of endearing. Plus, it likely came this way right out of the pack. So I think I will keep this beauty for now. If I pick up a nicer copy in the future, at that point, I will decide whether or not to sell, trade, or give this one away. But for now, I'm actually pretty darn stoked to have this glorious Stan the Man addition to my collection. By the way, about a year and a half ago, I picked up another Red Man Stan the Man at auction at a great price. So check that stunning beauty out. We'll see if I can get both of them on here. This is an SGC3 of the 1950 Red Man Tobacco Stan Musual. By the way, notice now they have the player number 20, the card number 26. So they changed it in 1953 so that the uh, card number was no longer on the tab so that kids could cut off the tabs or stubs and still have the card number. And notice in 53, the same promotion, send in 50 stubs and get yourself a free baseball cap of the team of your choosing. Oh, look at those beauties. It's essentially the same picture, but they changed up the colors. I think Red Man just did a fantastic job here. By the way, let's take a moment to read what each card says about the man. I mean, it's really quite amazing what Stan was doing in the league at this time. Check this out. The back of the card, by the way, doesn't say anything about Stan. The back of, back of the cards all say the same thing for the year. One of baseball's greatest players... For the fifth time, he won batting crown in 1951 with 355 mark, also tied for scoring most runs, 124, hit for most total bases, 355, tied for most triples, 12, tied major lead, league mark, and set new National League record for leading in triples for fifth time, extended National League record by scoring 100 or more runs for eighth time, also plays first base. I mean, that's just outrageous. That's just what Stan the Man did in one year. Well, let's see what he did in the next year. One of the game's greatest players, Stan was National League batting champion in 1952 for the third consecutive year. Stan won his sixth batting crown with a 336 average. He also tied for scoring the most runs with 105. For the ninth straight year, he has scored more than 100 runs. He led his circuit in doubles with 42. Stan the Man added further honors by collecting 194 hits, topping the league in this department for the sixth time. Lifetime totals 2023 20, hits and 10 14 runs batted in. I mean, this is absolutely outrageous. I guess that's why he's Stan the Man. By the way, these Red Man tobacco sets were only produced four years, from 1952 through 1955, and that is the heart of the golden era of baseball. Big, colorful cards, uh, certainly somewhat scarce with tabs, I just think these uh, represent some excellent value in the market today. And Stan the Man is only on the 1952, only in the 1952 and 1953 sets. So what we are looking at here is essentially a completion of sorts. All two of the uh, Red Man Tobacco Stan the Man cards that exist, both with tab. Thank you so much for sharing in my joy, my friends. 
I hope you had a wonderful and peaceful time in the Vintage Sanctuary. Take care.